Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and see what you need to know. See if you have any channeled messages from spirit at this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap into the energy. What does Aquarius need to know at this time, spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm, all gods and goddesses of the highest forms of the highest of light. Please tap into the collective Aquarius energy and provide clear, intuitive messages for my Aquarius, as well as return any black magic to sender spirit. Protect me as I channel and protect Aquarius as well, spirit. So Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you, okay? <clears throat> okay, so we have the angel of love out here. So this is more so probably going to be a love reading for you, Aquarius. Yeah, you guys could be healing from something. You guys could be healers. You could be somebody who um, brings a lot of balance and harmony to this world. Okay. For some of you, you could have even had to heal from a broken heart. But I'm seeing this broken heart was able to help you transform and open up your crown chakra. Okay. So we have the angel of love out here. So there could be some truth coming in. Somebody could be communicating how they feel or sharing their feelings with you. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. Okay, let's see. It looks like this could be somebody that was disloyal or broke your trust in the past, Aquarius. Um, this person is feeling led to take action. With the number eight out here, let's see. With the number eight out here, this could be somebody that is seeing you as abundant and take action towards your dreams. And now this person <clears throat> wants to come in and tell you some sort of truth. Okay, somebody wants to come in and tell you a truth. Yeah, this person may even come in very dramatically. Okay, because somebody's inner child could be inspired. All right. Yeah, this person could even have an obsession with you. Let's see. Let's see what this is, Aquarius. Let's see what this energy is for you. I did see a Virgo energy out here. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. But let's see, what is this for Aquarius? <clears throat> so if my voice sounds a little off, Aquarius, I'm sorry. But I am a little sick right now. So just bear with me. Okay, and... We have the North Node at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you guys are definitely walking in your North Node. Um, and you may even be benefiting from it. You may have success when it comes to your finances or your love life. There could be a lot going on with you. Um, you guys could be doing stuff on your own and working on yourself. And there could be a Cancer in your energy that wants to express some feelings. Or you could be in this Cancer energy where you could be expressing um or just using your intuition you could be very intuitive and psychic okay so please take it how it resonates let's see get a little more yeah somebody somebody may be um unhappy and feeling heartbroken at this time in your energy let's see why what is this fear? What is this person that's heartbroken? Yeah, somebody may have some regrets. Let's see, what is this for Aquarius? Okay, this is somebody that didn't show who they really were. They were wearing a mask. This person that was disloyal. Okay, you could went into no contact with somebody. You could not be talking to this person. Or you decided not to talk to this person. Because somebody was giving you some fake love, okay? Yeah, somebody was giving you fake love. What is this Aquarius for Aquarius spirit? All these cards keep coming out. Let me let me shuffle one more time. I'm going to get one more. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, you could have separated from this person and somebody could feel sad and bitter. This person could be missing you. They may even be in a lot of pain. They could be thinking about you. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a twin flame. Okay, but this person made you compete for their attention, okay? And I'm getting somebody was afraid to change. 
Let's see, what else? Yeah, somebody could have been um, dealing with a, a Pisces or a high priestess, somebody that was into voodoo or that was creating illusions. Okay, this could have also been a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. This person could have gossiped about you. They try, They could even try to say that you were doing some sort of voodoo or witchcraft. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm getting this is this this could have been um, a opportunity at true love, but somebody somebody missed out on true love. And somebody settled for more conflict in their life. So let's see, what is this? What are all these energy spirit? Okay, we have chaos and destruction out here, a house, and a rich girl with Jezebel in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to break all this energy down. It looks like there was there could have been a tornado or there could have been some chaos and destruction going on. Somebody could have lost a house in the tornado or somebody could be losing a house and it, it could be a lot of chaos and karma going on with this person. Meanwhile, I'm saying you are sitting as this rich girl. You're somebody very abundant, prosperous, very independent. You could have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus in your chart. You could be seeing 1212. Okay, 1717 or 1414 out here. Yeah, there could have been some witchcraft involved from somebody or somebody was gossiping and spreading lies being malicious to you and this this person could be getting karma somebody's getting karma yeah this person thought they had the last laugh but i'm getting you got the last laugh okay this could have been a soul tie you could have had a soul tie with somebody that could have been in uh to polygamy or somebody that was had multiple people on the side this person could be dreaming about you and this person may even be watching you on social media. They may want to send you a friend request. Yeah, somebody's going through a tower moment in their life right now. Like I said, a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, a lot of trauma. And now somebody wants to come forward and tell you some sort of truth that they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, some of you may have a decision, Aquarius, between who you love and... You may have to ask yourself who you're in love with or this person may be trying to figure out who they're in love with. Okay, somebody's definitely holding on to you though. Somebody's holding on to you. It's soul tie. All right, let's see. What's going on, Aquarius? Yep, look at the bottom of the deck. We have cancer energy. So this could be a cancer or a Pisces seeing you as wish fulfillment or seeing you live out your wish fulfillment. This person could be watching you uh, fulfill your dreams, create something. Somebody could be watching you be happy, have a lot of opportunities and abundance. You could have um, some sort of business or something that's growing very well at this time. And you could be literally improving, like your finances could be improving very well. So... Yeah, improving out here. So there's somebody's watching. You could have been in a situation where at first, like you didn't have a lot of money when someone went, but now you're in a situation where your finances have improved. You have all these blessings coming into your life, okay? And somebody's noticing that. You guys are accomplishing your dreams. You could even be seen across the world. Like you could be, you could, you could do something publicly and be seen. But yeah, there's there's a lot of regret. Coming from a cancer energy out here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and tap into this. Let's see what this energy is for you. Aquarius. Let's break some of this energy down. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So what is this loyal heart here, spirit? <laughs> In reverse. What is this loyal heart? Okay, so somebody regrets not being loyal to you. This person was very disloyal. Um, but spirit is giving you a wish fulfillment because you had to suffer and endure some sort of pain and heartbreak. Okay, I'm saying that you are fulfilling your dreams. You're having a lot of prosperous moments. You're having success and abundance and everything you go towards. And your confidence is looking good as you do it as well. You have a lot of emotional fulfillment coming into your life. A lot of opportunities for money and abundance. 
Okay, I'm seeing that you're taking action towards your goals. What is action out here, spirit? Ooh, too many. Let's see, what is action? Somebody could be getting a divorce. Virgo energy, okay. So somebody is taking action Hang on. What is this? My kids are making so much noise. What is this uh, non? So somebody's taking action to speak some sort of truth. They want to tell you that they want to reconcile. This person could be paranoid or withdrawn from you at this time. Yeah, this person wants to tell you something. Somebody wants to come forward and tell you a truth. What is this truth be told? What is this truth be told? I don't know why I'm hearing that you guys are wise. Make sure you use your wisdom with this truth. Okay, somebody wants to tell you that they were stuck somewhere or stuck in something else. And this person is recognizing you for who you are and they see you as who you are. And somebody sees that you're in a spotlight and this person feels um, like you've given up on them and some of you have some of you some of you have your guard up towards this person and spirit wants you to keep your guard up toward this person because somebody could even be being deceitful somebody could, could have contracted some sort of std for some of you and this person could be trying to keep it a secret okay so be careful aquarius i don't know why i was led to say that but <clears throat> that's what i was saying what's this truth What's this truth? Okay, 11.56 on the timer. What's this truth? So, the truth is somebody has a lot of fear and anxiety. Okay, they're very unhappy. They do have a lot of regret. Pisces energy. Somebody rushed into something too quickly. Somebody rushed into something way too quickly, okay? This person was very naive. And now they have a lot of regret. They feel like something's a missed opportunity with you. This could be a Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Pisces um, energy. And somebody feels unfulfilled. They feel very unfulfilled. They feel like they lost someone very nurturing, very loving, very sweet, very beautiful. Chasing after stability and security, okay? Yeah, somebody was chasing after money. All right, let's see. What is this angel of love out here, spirit? So somebody wants to follow their intuition and they want to come towards you. Somebody is realizing that they love you. Yeah, they don't want a cycle to be over with you, okay? This person wants to come forward and express themselves. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Somebody does have a pressure on you. Okay. Uh, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person... And this person feels like they failed at something. They may have failed at something with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Pisces. Hang on, let me see. Because I want to see what this is. Okay, so somebody's trusting their intuition to come towards you. They're trusting their inner voice to come towards you. But this person is a player, okay? This person was given to multiple people. And now somebody got backstabbed and betrayed. And now they're facing karma. Libra energy, okay? Somebody could have gotten backstabbed. And because they were out here playing, they could have played around with you. And you were a divine feminine. And now somebody wants to come in and tell you how they feel and they want to invest in you. But this is somebody that made an investment into an empress in reverse. Somebody very overbearing and toxic, okay? So this person wants to free themselves from whoever this is and move forward. But they're facing a lot of conflict and like this is a big tower moment, okay? Scorpio energy.
Yeah. This person could also be trying to come back around and cause some chaos in your life and drama. Okay, so be careful. What is this um, in the third house, spirit? Okay, so yeah, you guys could be questioning something. If you're making the right connection with someone, there could be a fear of change or this person could be questioning whether or not what's best for them and they could be afraid to make a change and abandon the situation with the Queen of Swords. But I'm seeing somebody's going to decide to walk away from a Queen of Swords, okay? Somebody that was malicious and gossiping and just bitter and nasty. Okay, whoever this person was, this person is reconsidering because they feel like whoever this is, they're in their self node. What is this self node out here? Yeah, somebody's realizing somebody's in their self node. Okay, this person is having a lot of conflict and chaos in their life. A lot of insecurities at this time. Scorpio energy could be dealing with a Scorpio. And now somebody wants to hold on to you and heal something with you, okay? Somebody wants your forgiveness. They want they want to move forward with you after this tower moment. But I'm getting somebody wants to move forward because they're facing bad karma. Yeah, somebody could be sick. And this person could need your healing. They see that you're abundance, that you're a healer, and that you're somebody that is motherly and sweet. You could be a masculine as well. That's in this energy, okay? So take it how it resonates. But whoever this is, this person was in their self node and you're in your north node, okay? And I'm getting you're benefiting from being in your north node more than your self node, obviously. So what is the north node out here for the Aquarius Collective? Yeah, you guys made a big choice to invest in yourself and to love yourself. And I'm getting because you did that, Spirit is bringing in a lot of good news for you, okay? There's going to be a lot of good things coming for your future, a lot of opportunities, you could be getting into a job where you're going to be able to build solid roots. Um, you could be getting promotion or making plans that are going to be really good for your future, okay? Now that you're in your North Node and you decided to make these investments, I'm saying it's going to be good for you. Yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel at this time, okay? Things are about to start improving for you, all right? I'm saying these are, this is long-term, something long-term. Is coming your way. This could be a connection with the Knight of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or this could just be you in this energy where you're being very responsible, you're very protected at this time, and you're working hard to what you want. Like you're working hard for your goals, and this is why you are in your North Node because you are working immediately towards yourself. Like you're 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 building something for yourself at this time. Okay. Yeah, there could be a cancer energy. I'm getting strong cancer energy. Somebody's in regret over a missed opportunity. Okay, this person definitely self-sabotaged the connection because they went towards a third party or somebody could have got connected to some sort of devil energy, Capricorn energy, and now somebody's stuck. Mm, okay, what is this mask spirit out here? What's this mask? Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask. They didn't want to show who they really were. And now this person wants your forgiveness, okay? Somebody wants to come back around. This person wants to come back around very quickly and communicate something to you. They may even come in very flirtatious, trying to flirt with you. But this person feels like they need to trust their intuition and come towards you. Okay, somebody feels like they could have had a dream about you and their future. And this person wants to fight for it. They could even be coming in to offer you a, uh, a proposal like marriage, but somebody could be scared, okay? There could be a lot of fear this person has. They could be having a lot of financial bad luck, and somebody feels like they need your forgiveness in order to break the karmic bond, okay? Mm. What is this no contact in reverse spirit? Yeah, this person and you went no contact because somebody was trying to juggle you. Somebody had a lot that they were juggling, okay? And this person, like I said, they have a lot of regret because you ended up walking away. You walked away. You freed yourself from these mind games. What is this separation out here? Sadness and bitterness missing you? 
So somebody that you're separated from, this person is thinking about you. Um, somebody wants to come in and um, have a new beginning with you, but this is somebody that has a problem with commitment. It's somebody that has a problem with commitment, okay? This person wants to come towards you because they see that you're having all these new beginnings when it comes to abundance. You could be like somebody seen in the public eye, or you could be somebody that's prosperous, very independent and wealthy, very nurturing. And this person, they 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 keep thinking about you. They, they're missing you. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and offer you a cup of love, okay? I'm getting cancer energy out here. And Virgo, somebody wants to offer you something, but this person is still attached to all these toxic devil energies. All right. And somebody is also having like a lot of bad luck. This person could be cursed. They could have a lot going on behind the scenes. Okay. With this devil energy out here in this offer, this could be a dirty offer. Somebody could, somebody could have had some sort of toxic addictions like sex addictions and somebody could literally be coming back around trying to bind you to them. So that way you can be cursed and have their bad luck with them. So be careful because the next card out is destruction, okay? So be very careful. And then we have hurting and agonizing pain at the bottom of the deck, the twin flame. So yeah, you've avoided some sort of pain with this person. I mean, you might have had pain, but you've avoided something worse. What is hurting and agonizing pain, okay? Yeah, this may have been a, a very painful choice for you to make when it comes to this page of wands, this person that is very impulsive with their sex life and insecure. But somebody has a lot of burdens on their shoulders. Somebody has a lot of responsibilities, okay? Spirit is balancing things for you, though. This is, this is somebody's facing karma for something they did to you. With the temperance card out here, things are about to be balanced for you. And now that things are being balanced, you're winning and you're in your north node. And this person is still in their south node. So what they're experiencing at this time is loss and grief. Okay? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Yeah, there's a lot of destruction going on right now. Let's, let's break this destruction card down. What is this destruction card out here, Spirit? What is this destruction card? Yeah, somebody wanted to treat you as an option. This person had multiple people they were dealing with, and now they're stuck. They're stuck because somebody didn't want to change. Okay, so this person is stuck. And now this person feels like they could be going through judgment because of what they've done to you, and now they want your forgiveness. Somebody wants to balance things with you because they, they feel like they have a lot of burdens on their shoulder, okay? At this time. Okay, what is house in reverse? Yeah, this person could have procrastinated or some lies could be exposed at this time. And this person may have to move. And somebody's sad about it. What is this house in reverse? Yeah, somebody may not have a lot of choices. So Spirit is saying that you've abandoned this situation. Some of you could have lived with this person, but I'm seeing that somebody's lives were exposed, that this person was afraid to change. They were very indecisive with you. So you had to walk away from this, okay? You had to abandon this situation. And because you did, you, you upgraded your energy to the Queen of Wands, okay? You're somebody very, very sweet, very patient, very feisty. You're in your power, you're standing strong, you're sexy, you're spiritual, okay? You're very brave, you're courageous, and you're headed towards a, a, a strong union, okay? With a soulmate, possibly. Now that you've abandoned another situation, okay? What is this rich girl out here, spirit? But I do see your manifestations are coming true, okay? There's a lot of your manifestations coming true at this time. You guys are on the winning team. You've overcome a lot of your obstacles. You're having success in whatever you put your hands into, especially with your finances. You're ambitious. You're determined at this time. 
And you have high standards, okay? You have that self-love where you have high standards. Some of you could even be getting a new car. And there's this person in your energy facing bad karma, okay? Because somebody was very dishonest. Libra energy, Scorpio energy. This person is going through a major tower moment. And like I said, somebody could be losing their home or facing poverty. And this person could also be sick. This is why a cycle had to end with someone, okay? Because somebody, somebody's health became compromised. And you may have had clarity about that. Spirit is saying this is the truth. Okay, somebody's unfulfilled because they're in this nine of pentacles. Somebody's unfulfilled because they're in this nine of pentacles, but this person was very deceitful. Yeah, somebody was very deceitful and now they're in the nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody had was attached to some sort of Jezebel spirit. And I can't make it up. The next card is health concern. Okay, somebody's health is compromised. Somebody contracted an STD is what I'm getting. An incurable STD for going towards this Jezebel spirit. This person likes to be involved with these type of energies, okay? Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody ran in having unprotected sex with these Jezebel spirits and somebody contracted something. What is this Jezebel spirit? Yeah, this person has a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear because their dreams didn't come true. Pisces energy. Somebody is in regret. They're in regret. Somebody's in regret, okay? This tower moment is hitting this person very hard. This karma is coming in very hard. But this person had an issue with loving themselves, and this is why they're where they are. Somebody, somebody found love through sex, and it wasn't love, unfortunately, okay? They rushed into something too quick, and now this is, it was just a lot of destruction. Oh my God, that's so sad. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a little more spirit. What is this witches out here? What are the witches? What are, what are these witches? It's always witches. Okay, yeah, these people gossiped about you and tried to spread lies to this person about you. And this is, this is, it's fine because spirit wanted this cycle to be over, okay? Spirit wants you to completely close this. They could be gossiping right now or trying to do black magic, but it's not going to work. This cycle is over with this person. This is done, okay? The number 21 could be important. But a cycle is finally done. And now you are being seen globally or you're being seen whole. You're being seen satisfied. You're being seen feeling complete. You have released this pain, okay? You guys are forgiving this person. You've, you've overcame some of your dark days. Yeah, and... and you know, there was light at the end of the tunnel. And because you continue to move forward, I'm seeing you're having a lot of new opportunities. You're making fast progress. Yeah, you guys are making a lot of fast progress. This person thought they had the last laugh. They thought they did. But now somebody's realizing that you had the last laugh and you don't even care. You're not even laughing. You've just let it go. Now, this person, like I said, they're going through a lot of unexpected changes. They have a lot of fear about a government with money, some, some money or something with their finances. Somebody's fearful. So now this person wants to come forward and offer you something long term because they see that you are the queen of pentacles. Okay. And for some of you, you could be going into something else long term. You could have met somebody else. And they could be coming in offering you something because they saw you right away for who you were, okay? And this is a missed opportunity because you are with somebody that matches you. You could have met a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and you two are going to build something together, something long-term. And this person is being left behind, okay? If you're about to have a lot of stability and security in your life, a lot of financial balances, now that you've blocked somebody out of your energy. Hmm. What is this? This is somebody you could have had a strong soul tie with. But like I said, this person was messing around with multiple people. Yeah, somebody somebody was multi, uh, messing around with multiple people. What is this soul tie spirit? Okay, yeah, you could have had a soul tie with this person. 
But now that you are guarded, I'm getting you're guarded and somebody's stuck trying to figure out how you know some sort of information. Okay, yeah, you're, you're, this soul tie with this person, you have your guard up. You have your guard up towards this person. Sorry about that. My kids started screaming. Okay. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're protecting your energy at this time. I'm getting, you guys are funny. Some of you guys are very comical. Okay. You're protecting yourself with this person. And this person is stuck on you. You could even be waiting for something at this time, but Spirit is saying that you're in this nine of pinnacles. So you're somebody that is building a lot of independence, a lot of success, a lot of financial stability for yourself. You're just focusing on things that are important for investing into, okay? You're investing into a lot of new beginnings, a lot of new opportunities. Some of you are very talented and something you're talented with is going to grow very well. But Spirit is telling you not to invest into a page of wands in reverse. Somebody that sleeps around, hooks up with people unprotected, gossips about you with other third parties. Yeah, somebody that's insecure. This has a lot of burdens on them that lies. This cycle with whoever this person is. Okay, Spirit has given you the truth. You already received some sort of clarity uh, about something. And now it's time to focus on your success because... You investing in yourself is bringing in a lot of things worth you protecting, okay? So whatever you're fighting for, whatever you're protecting at this time, it's going to be important that you keep that protected into yourself. Do not do not allow somebody to just come in here who has not been with you and try to take you off your course, okay? Because you have a purpose. There's something you're supposed to do. Yeah, this person is very unhappy, but they kept doing the same thing, the same negative things over and over again. Somebody choose, somebody didn't want to follow the divine. They wanted to go against the divine, okay? Somebody wanted to go against the divine, okay? Could have been a Scorpio. This person just would not change. Yeah, now they want to hold on to you and work on something with you because you're publicly recognized at this time. Yeah, this person gives me narc vibes. Okay, somebody sees how good you're doing and now they want to move on. They want to let you go, you know, because they went towards a better opportunity. But now that they they recognize that you're being seen in the spotlight, now somebody wants to work on something with you. Now somebody wants to work on something and hold on to you for money. Yeah, no thank you. Spirit is bringing you a connection where you don't have to question somebody's intentions. Okay, this person is going to love you. The way you're supposed to be. Alright, let's get a few more messages. But don't think that this person isn't strategizing on how they're going to come back around and try to trick you and deceive you, okay? Because they have their own motives. Yeah, this person is not okay. Somebody could even be getting sued right now. Okay. What is this alliance? Yeah, somebody sees that you were somebody they could have trust. Like you were somebody trustworthy, you were somebody honest. But now this person is stagnant and it's because they, they're facing karma. Okay, they're facing karma for what they've done. But it was always fated for you. You guys could be tarot readers or you could be into astrology, but it was always fated for you to gain from this situation. It was not your destiny to receive this supernatural disturbance or this sickness. Somebody is angry because now they're cursed, okay? This person is very stressed. They're stressed because they feel like they've lost a blessing and they, they have a lot of curses on their plate now. Somebody, somebody really messed up their self, okay? But you know your self-worth. You love yourself. And that's why you're satisfied and comfortable where you are. Because you have that self-love. Somebody is definitely feeling the loss of you. Okay, They feel like they lost their eternal love. Their soulmate. But this is somebody that tried to treat you bad. And they wouldn't learn a lesson. Okay? Yeah, Spirit says don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to go after your dreams. Don't hesitate to, to focus on uh, being victorious. 
you guys are about to triumph, okay? There's a lot of success coming into your life. Some of you are going to get a soulmate, somebody that you can build with, okay? Just keep holding on is all I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see what else. Because my, my feeling a little, a little sick. Okay, so it says have faith. So spirit is saying to have faith. I need to drink some tea. Ooh, my nose. Okay, what else for, for my collective Aquarius spirit? So spirit is saying nothing has gone wrong, okay? You're being asked to trust the process, okay? this There's a connection that's coming into your life that's divinely timed. Something is being balanced for you. Um, when it comes to love, it says there needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable. So it looks like there is new love coming in and spirit is balancing that for you. So you're getting new love, okay? Or at least a new chapter when it comes to love with a new partner or somebody that is going to actually treat you right. If this is the person that we're reading on right now, this person that lies and does all of that, I'm not talking about this person, okay? I'm talking about somebody that's healthy. You're getting healthy love. And there, this twin flame spirit just wants you to pay attention to the red flags with this person, okay? And for some of you, you still need to free yourself from this person. I'm hearing spiritual cleansing. Yeah. Because somebody, somebody wants to be a part of your new beginnings, okay? We have new beginnings out here twice. New beginnings, new beginnings. So a lot of opportunities, a lot of things coming into your life. Big love. But it, it's going to come with an ending, okay? So Spirit is telling you to look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer for you. You are completing something major and it feels good to level up. So Spirit wants you to close an old chapter so this new one can unravel. Okay, some of you guys could be reflecting on that during this Mercury retrograde. Hang on, Aquarius. I got to blow my nose. Hang on one second. Okay, so 37.14 on the timer, Aquarius. So let's get one of these messages. Let's get one of these messages. Let's see what we got. Can I get one for Aquarius Spirit? Thank you. So Spirit is saying to breathe, okay? You could be healing with breath work, or this might be something good for you to consider, especially as you transition and go through a change at this time. Spirit is saying it's easy to get in a stress pattern where we are not breathing deeply, but doing breathing exercises alone or in a group can help your body, your mind, and your spirit connect. It can bring you into the present moment and connect you back with your emotional body. If you are in a place of feeling disconnected from your life or your body, this card comes to you with a gentle encouragement to connect with your breath. So some of you guys may need to try meditation or yoga or breath work um journaling anything that you can do to connect with your um with your higher self okay yeah because there's some stuff coming in for your future okay you're making you're making a lot of future movements and you're about to be given a lot of things for your a lot of support for your future as well let's see what else so what is there any other message of spirit for Aquarius that they need to know for this upcoming week Is there anything else they need to know? Okay, so for some of you Aquarius, there could be some, so five of cups out here with the high priestess, so, and the king of cups. Yeah, you could be deciding not to reconcile with the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, you could be trusting your intuition about something that's very painful and emotional. What is the five of cups? Let's see. Let's break this down. What is the five of cups out here? Mm -mm. Now, this isn't your energy. Okay, yeah. So, somebody is definitely crying and, and broken and sad at this time. Okay, somebody's very emotional um, because they're in the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody's unhappy very unhappy with the choices they made and this person is starting to see that they're having bad karma for the things they've done okay somebody is seeing that 
they decided not to work on a ten of cups situation. They could have had ten of cups with you, but this person was too arrogant, too impulsive, and somebody just they were non-committal, and this is why this situation didn't work. So somebody could be in a state where they're they're starting to see something this week, where they're starting to realize, hey, I made the wrong decision. I should have chose Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. High vibrational Aquarius love me. They really cared about me. And whoever this person chose is over you is showing them who they really are. So what is the final advice for Aquarius spirit? What is the final advice? Okay, so spirit is saying to trust your intuition. Um, wait for a sign. Okay, you could be getting a sign about something. Or you could be waiting on a manifestation to come through. Something you manifested is coming. Okay, there's something that you're waiting for that is on its way to you. A, a, a big manifestation I'm getting with the magician out here. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart or Aries. But yeah, I'm saying there's a manifestation that you, you're waiting for and it's actually coming your way. So Spirit wants you to keep waiting as it comes in. Yeah, continue to heal. You guys are star seeds. You're healers. You're a very loving person, Okay. Let's see, what is the tower out here? There could be a tower coming now. Let's see what this tower is, Aquarius. What is the tower? Yeah, there could be a tower moment somebody's going through. Somebody's going through a tower moment because they're realizing that you don't want to work on a commitment with them because this person is very stingy and greedy, okay? Somebody is gonna come in towards you with a love offer, but I see that this person is gonna end up heartbroken because you're choosing joy, you're choosing happiness, you're choosing yourself. Okay, so the advice, Spirit, what's the advice? I'm here, ba uh, be patient. <laughs> be patient. Don't, don't invest into people who you don't see a future into, okay? People that are money hungry, that have financial issues. Spirit is saying, don't do it. Okay, yeah, this person, whoever this is in your energy, somebody's sick and somebody needs money. Yeah, this king of swords in reverse. This is somebody dishonest, somebody that is a narcissist, okay? Somebody very insecure at this time too. Somebody you don't trust and this person didn't even change. With the nine of swords in reverse, you freed yourself from this chaos with this person. So spirit is telling you don't go backwards. Okay, Aquarius. So you are the high priestess. You are very intuitive. You know, you, like I said, you guys may even be into tarot. You may do, is there something you do intuitively, but you are a very intuitive person. You already know, uh, you already know what I'm saying, basically. Okay, trust your intuition. Your spirit guys are watching over you at this time. There could be a past over loved one, a masculine energy. Um, there's somebody watching over you uh, to make sure that you are okay. So just, just continue to focus on building yourself. Focus on your pinnacles. Focus on that self-love. Um, and just continue doing what you're doing. Because I'm seeing that you have a lot coming into your life. Not only are you a very nurturing person, you're very spiritual, very intuitive. And you guys are exactly where you need to be at this time. You're working hard. You're committing to things that you are going to have a strong foundation with, okay? Just make sure you stay away from toxic energies that want to keep you trapped and stuck, all right? So, Aquarius, that has been your reading. I hope the message did resonate. If it did resonate, please feel free to like, share, or subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Keep your vibes very high this week, Aquarius. Bye.